this one headline that I've been seeing a lot is basically if a business can't afford to pay $15 oh, an hour right. or more, then yeah. they shouldn't be in business. That's Workers right. are sick of subsidizing owners that aren't willing to pay a fair living wage. And, you know, I, I get that argument. I think, you know, there's some validity to that. I guess it depends but, on the business. Uh, you know, it, it depends on the business. It depends on the location. I, right. I, I don't think that a $15 an hour is a, it should be a national standard because, you know, Wichita, Kansas and L.A. are completely different, right? But I, you know, I certainly believe in a fair living wage, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I think we've always been able to be competitive with that. You know, we're not on the high end of that, but we're hoping to be able to as we, you know, grow a little more. I just I wish people knew the numbers. Like I, I remember we almost opened up a restaurant. I was helping a restaurant open and I got to see all the financials. And this was a James Beard award winning chef. So they're coming with a lot of credibility and, you know, there's a lot of hype and blah, blah, blah. And in looking at the numbers, they were making like 5% profit margin. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it just goes to show you like these businesses are next to impossible. Yeah. yeah. If you're a logical human being, you mm -hmm. wouldn't do it. Right. right. Which made me rethink about restaurants as a hospitality art. That's really right. what it is. Yeah. It's like you, you fly to Los Angeles to enjoy a culinary experience that you couldn't. Right. Right. And just like you paid for a flight and a bunch of other expensive stuff along the way, you should probably pay more. Yeah. Right. Because five yeah. percent doesn't agree. keep the industry alive. No. Right. And it keeps two things happening, right? It keeps either the, the you'll see more McDonald's and yep. you'll see three Michelin star. And right. there'll be nothing in between. Right. So right. it's like everything's either corporate or super high end. Yep. Exactly. And now the family of four can't go out to dinner and experience right. a meal because it's way too expensive. Yep. And this is what's happening. And I think COVID just threw that into overdrive. Yep. Right. It's, it's a sad bad. truth. It's really sad. But it's like the consumer doesn't also understand the cost has to be offset somehow. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so it's this thing of like, you have to understand the simple math of it before you ask for astronomical things right. like we want eighteen dollars an hour. I mean, it's not like we're you know rolling in it. No, Come exactly. on, I mean, yeah. we're working yeah. our butts off, and I think most restaurant owners would agree. And it's yeah. there's not a whole lot of return. Well, if you ask the consumer, the consumer says that they're willing to pay higher prices if that cost of product increase goes to employees or whatever it is but then in actuality you find that they don't actually follow through right. so then these restaurants close down and mm -hmm. then everyone's left blaming the other person right and so it really is just this really tough area right now and like diego said it's been thrown even more into a loop because of covid and so people are trying to figure out how to deal with it and then also there's what we, uh, we were talking about earlier with 15 dollar increase to minimum wage there was also the talk of hazard pay for right. all these frontline food employees grocery store employees and it's like certain industries were thriving for sure and maybe could afford it but it's not every industry and right. it, it should be a sliding scale right. i don't think you can hold someone to a black and white standard when it's very gray yep Absolutely, yeah. A lot and, of people uh, are raising their prices now, though. I think they have to. That's the Cost of ingredients are going up. Labor's going Gas up. Gas is going up. So, yeah, we're also seeing you that know, inflation starting to yeah. creep yeah. in, right? Yeah. yeah. I think one positive thing is that there's also now a lot more dialogue about universal health care. Because if that was around, mm -hmm. that would really help the situation as well, right? It would. You know, it wouldn't just be about wage only. <laughs> and for people listening, how much are they? How much is like a six-pack of the bigger ones? Or the normal size ones, I guess. So the six pack is twenty seven dollars, four fifty each. Um, four fifty each. Yeah. If you know things, you know, keep going the way they're going, we'll probably have to, you know, raise the price incrementally a little bit soon here. I mean, you know, we've, we've only, only raised, raised our price once, once in ten years. Wow. Oh. And that was when I came on board, and they hadn't been raised at all, and we were yeah. like, we got to raise the price a little bit here. So you got to raise mm -hmm. the price. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of price, what's interesting is. Once in a while, you'll get that person who doesn't quite understand what we're doing, and so they'll compare it to a regular donut. How much is a regular donut? Like at 60, 89 a cents, maybe. Or whatever, you know, depending okay. where you're going. But what's interesting I mean, is. Obviously, not somewhere like Sidecar. We're, we're actually. Pretty much the same yeah. price as them, yeah. yeah. We're actually on the low end for what we do and what we use for ingredients. For gluten free Because vegan. there's a couple of, quote, gourmet donut shops in town, like Blue Star Donuts or Sidecar, and they are also, I think, four fifty dollars each. But they're not using really high quality expensive ingredients like right. almond flour and rice flour and all fresh fruit and wild blueberry com they're not making a wild blueberry compote their money's in their packaging yeah so I mean, you know I, I, they might be they doing, might be you know, a little they've got bit some chefy creations but I, i'm not they gonna do i don't want to diss them for I, you know, sure they, no they no, no i'm not stuff. dissing them but i'm saying 
in terms of like the base ingredients. It's white flour, which costs, you right. know, significant yeah, pennies. Yeah. There's no comparison. I think this is the hard part about companies like this. It's like, it, it fundamentally costs more money. If you get an almond milk latte, it costs more money than just it a dairy. It costs way more, right. and yet we're the same right. price. That's right. what I'm trying to right. say. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you gotta raise your prices. Not that they're using cheap ingredients, but they're not using almond flour, which is just a That's one of the down. biggest, yeah. You know, so we always tell people if, if they're having a hard time conceiving the cost, I say, you ever bought a pound of almonds? You see how expensive that is, right? right? Yeah. You know, translate that to, you know. It's so nice of yeah. you. I would have just been like, it's not for you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I know. I used to go to a barber shop where he would raise the prices 50 cents every year. Every wow. single year. Wow. And I would always get so mad at him. Now you know why. He <laughs> As a kid, I was a kid and I'm like, right. Well, because my birthday is in January, so oh, what happened is right. my birthday haircut would be like right. more expensive. Right. 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 I'm like, Can right. I get last year's rent? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know, my rent's gone up. <laughs> That's what he would say. He would say, you know, yeah. the government doesn't care about your birthday. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm 12. Can we not talk about the government? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just get a haircut. It's a tough realization. Just give me that, that 50 age. cents. <laughs> yeah, but I always thought. So it wasn't until I was like 18 where I was like, that's actually really intelligent of I him to see do. Which ones you guys ate. And he also trained the customers, right? The customers were yeah. At that point, like everybody expected it. Yep. And he mm -hmm. would just be like, when I first started, that gas station was 60 cents a gallon. There you go. Look yeah. at it now. And yep. then everyone would be like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And then no one would care. We go back to the barbershop right. talk. Like my utilities have gone up. And, yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's not like your, your rent goes up every year, too. Your rent oh, yeah. goes up every oh, year. Yeah.